The PS4 controller, or DualShock 4, is quite possibly the best gamepad out there. Obviously that's a matter of opinion, so it makes sense that you want to connect it to your PC. This guide will walk you through connecting your DualShock 4 to your PC via both Bluetooth and using a cable. After that we'll show you how to get it working with Steam. Hi this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to connect a PS4 controller to your PC. Us PC folk know that the greatest game joys are found on our rigs. The complaint that it's awkward to set up gamepads with a PC is a myth made all the more mythical by Steam's recent integration of PS4 controller support into its platform where it seamlessly lets your DualShock 4 work with any game that supports a gamepad. There are a number of ways to connect your PS4 controller to your PC and we have them all covered. Connect PS4 controller via official adapter. The simplest, though most expensive, way to connect your PS4 controller to your Windows PC is via the official DualShock 4 wireless adapter, link in the description. Although more pricey, it enables all the DualShock 4 features, including motion sensors and headset jack, which isn't something that will work with your box standard Bluetooth adapter. If, however, that particular feature doesn't bother you, then how about these free options? Connect PS4 controller via Bluetooth. OK, click the Start menu, type Bluetooth, then select Bluetooth Settings. In the new window, make sure Bluetooth is set to On. With your controller off, hold the Share and PS buttons on the DualShock 4 until the light bar starts flashing. Your controller should appear in the Manage Bluetooth Devices window on your PC as Wireless Controller. Your controller is now connected and you can play any game that has support for the PS4 controller such as the excellent Rocket League as well as any games you may have running on emulators etc. It's worth noting that the vast majority of controller compatible Steam games are only compatible with Xbox controllers but we'll get to that in a moment. Connect PS4 controller via USB cable. This is by far the simplest. If you don't have Bluetooth, you can connect your PS4 controller to your PC using a micro USB cable and then you're good to go. Use PS4 controller on Steam. So with your PS4 controller now registered for Windows, all you need to do for Steam to acknowledge it is open Steam, which will automatically convert your PS4 controller to work with your games, even if they're designed to work with Xbox controllers. You can even use your PS4 controller with games that don't officially support gamepads. To do this, open Big Picture Mode, the gamepad icon at the top right of the Steam window, and go to Settings, Controller Settings, and switch on PS4 Configuration Support. Next, in Big Picture Mode, select a game in your library that doesn't support controllers, go to Manage Game in the left-hand pane, then Controller Configuration. Here you'll be able to set up a bespoke PS4 control for your keyboard and mouse game. Roll on the big screen gamepad sessions of Civilization or Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Use PS4 controller with non-Steam games. So you're sorted on Steam but what about games from other platforms such as GOG, Uplay, EA Origin etc that support X360 gamepads but not PS4 ones? You'll need to get a program that maps your DualShock 4 controls to the Xbox controller driver built into Windows 10. If you're unsure whether or not you have the Xbox 360 controller drivers for Windows, then you can get them from the link in the description. Next, download Input Mapper, also in the description, and install it on your PC. This is, in my opinion, the best PS4 to X360 controller mapper around. It works smoothly and doesn't do anything dodgy like hijacking your Bluetooth drivers, which other similar programs, such as Motion Enjoy, sometimes do. Open Input Mapper. Whether your controller is connected wirelessly or via a cable, it should detect your controller automatically, setting up a profile for it and effectively turning it into an Xbox 360 controller right away, with all the PS4 gamepad buttons automatically mapped to their X360 equivalents. Click the small icon with the plus sign on it next to the Bluetooth icon to take a look at all the controller settings. While most of these work fine as they are, I like to make the PS4 trackpad usable as a mouse, which you can do by clicking the configuration tab, then ticking the trackpad as mouse box. This is particularly useful if you're playing on the couch in front of the TV and can't be bothered to go over to your computer when you want to change games. 
Okay, so that's it. You're now using the best gamepad in the world on the best gaming platform in the world. Obviously, such statements are bound to attract some comments, disagreeing one way or the other. So by all means, share your thoughts in the comments. Just keep it civil, please. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.